Guillaume, we've talked about four brands already. There's Nissan, of course, uh, there's Datsun, uh, there's uh, Renault, which is an alliance partner, as well as Mitsubishi. But tell us about the manufacturing, which is uh, a very big investment for any global company to make in India, especially uh, uh, automobile. Um, you are manufacturing these cars for India. What has been the experience? Well, we have started the uh, manufacturing of, of our cars um, uh, five, a bit more than five years ago, almost six years ago now. We have invested so far 6,100 crores over the last five years. We have a capacity of 480,000 cars uh, per year, which ranks us into the uh, top five biggest uh, manufacturing plant, auto manufacturing plant in India. So it's, it's a very big setup. Uh, the plant this year is going to be about um, at 75 to 80% maximum capacity, which is in line with the industry in India. India the industry is at about 75 to 80%, so we're in line. Uh, with extremely good quality. I think the first point, because we can talk about big figures, but I think the most important point is the quality of the product that are going out of our Chennai plant. Um, we don't have only Indian customers, we have actually international customers because all our cars are being exported to 106 countries. So we export our Micras, we export our Sunnies in 106 countries total. So believe me, we have to give the best of quality because if I don't do so, and if the plant doesn't do so, it's not only the Indian customers who's going to uh, complain, but the rest of the world is going to complain as well. So our standards in terms of quality are international standards, and this is probably one of the uh, key uh, reasons for success of, of Nissan in India, is that level of quality. That's important, uh, Guillaume, because uh, there is a perception that some uh, automobile companies in India uh, who are manufacturing in India, they have one set of quality for India and another set for their exports. And they justify it by saying that, you know, the Indian standards are different and the global standards are different. Is that justified? Yeah, so actually, to, to be extremely clear on this point, the quality standards are exactly the same. Now, uh, in terms of reglementation, the reglementation is not 100% the same. So we do some adaptation, obviously, to fit into Euro 6 market. And in India, we're not Euro 6 yet, we're equivalent of Euro 4. So we do adapt, obviously, to the specific regulations. But the quality is exactly the same. The, 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 all the cars are built on the, on the same line, with the same person, with the same material, so it's exactly the same thing. But and issues I would say, like passenger safety and emission, there is a difference between different countries. But yes, there is a difference, yeah. Do, do auto companies, and I'm not just talking about you, do auto companies, should they go for the best practice or should they look at only that market? I, I think what we, what we do, and I'm talking about Nissan, um, what we do is we do answer to all the Indian regulations when we manufacture in India for the Indian market. And I think this is what most of the manufacturers are doing. Obviously, we are working to upgrade, being in line with the uh, requirements of, of the uh, legislator, of, of the, uh, the norms that are requested by the Indian government. So we do work uh, in that direction. We have the technology because today, actually, we do, for example, talking about Euro 6, we do manufacture cars that are Euro 6. But we have to be aware that doing a car that is Euro 6 versus a Euro 4 car is an increase of about 15% of, of the manufacturing cost of the car. So what we are doing, we are adapting step by step to make sure that we increase uh, the level of, 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 uh, of uh, uh, I would say, regulation of the car, keeping the price as done as possible. So this is what all the OEMs are doing, all the manufacturers are, are doing. Do you think that you, you mentioned uh, uh, emission norms are at global standards. You also uh, have uh, plans for hybrid vehicles in India. My, my question to you is that do you see uh, hybrid and electric vehicles uh, becoming mass market products in a country like India? Even let's say the entry level car that you're talking about for the risers, for those who are transitioning from a two wheeler to a four wheeler, how long will it take for that to become a popular product? So I think we need a lot of time to discuss on this point, honestly, it's, it's a subject by itself. I think, yes, this is the future. Electric mobility, what we call zero emission mobility, is the, is the future of mobility, this is for sure. When is it going to arrive um, on the planet? And when is it going to arrive generally on the planet and in India? It's, um, it's, it, it, it's not very short term. Uh, why? Uh, the first reason is uh, the, the technology is still extremely expensive. Batteries are expensive especially, so uh, we need to keep on working on the battery to increase the autonomy, 
to decrease the weight and to decrease the manufacturing cost. Year after year, actually, those parameters are improving, but we're not at the level today where we can match exactly a thermic engine. The, the, we, we're not there yet, but progress are being made. The second point that is very important, you can have an electric car, but what is the electric car means that you don't want to produce any emission, but you have to check where your electricity is coming from. So if you live in a country where your electricity is coming from coal, which is mainly the case uh, in India, actually you're just moving the issue. That is to say your car is going to be clean, but to have this electricity, you're going to generate a lot of pollution. So it's the whole ecosystem that you need to work on. And this is what the government is doing today, promoting renewable energy, solar energy especially, to make sure that first we produce clean energy, decreasing coal as much as we can. And this is why I'm extremely proud that India has signed the COP21, because actually we are engaging into that direction to produce clean energy. And once we start to produce clean energy, then after the link with car would be um, actually very natural and extremely efficient. In that time, we need to keep on improving the technology. We have the technology, but we need to make it more affordable. And at the same time, we need to develop the infrastructure. Because obviously, electric car works. If you have the right infrastructure, you need to have charging station. So it's the whole ecosystem that is important, I repeat, making sure that we, have, we produce, as Indians, clean energy. Uh, we decrease the manufacturing cost of electric cars and hybrid cars. And we have good infrastructure to make sure that people can use it uh, freely and, and with no hassle. But in the short term, you've made a very important point because people forget that you may have a clean uh, zero emission car, but the coal plant is going to create uh, that much of smoke and the carbon footprint would be higher. But hybrids, do you see that uh, increasing as a market segment in India? Yes, I, I think people are more and more sensitive actually to those issues and, and hybrid, and, and you can see, um, is going to be a trend uh, in the next few years. Uh, it, it's not the ultimate solution because hybrid is a, is a very complex technology because you have a motor and an engine, which means that in terms of manufacturing an hybrid it is, is not the, the cheapest way to do it. But it's probably a good intermediate solution between the full thermic engine that we have right now and the full electric. I think it's, a, it's an interesting solution in the meantime. Then after also we have uh, probably leaders of opinion that are going to be uh, extremely interested in hybrid, even though cars are expensive, because if you look at the hybrids that are offered in the market today, they are above 30, 35 lakhs, so they are expensive. But it's a good thing that leaders of opinion start to use those cars, show off, because it stimulates the whole ecosystem to, to, to show to the people, the government, the deciders, that this is probably the right direction. So, I'm promoting hybrid, I'm promoting electric, I'm just saying that in terms of time, this will take some time and once again, we need to have a global view of the overall ecosystem.